Hey guys, so it's Tuesday today. I don't usually film in the week because I'm busy, I'm working, and I'm working right now actually. So I usually do all my videos on Saturdays and I plan everything out and it takes me the whole weekend to get that video done. But this morning I was watching a Matty Hoya video from a couple of years ago talking about how he was starting up vlogging and one of the things that got me was when he started talking about Casey Neistat and how Casey Neistat would vlog and he'd make a story from really mundane things that he would be doing every day. And this kind of contradicts a little bit like what we're, what we're told about vlogging which is you need to have a strong story, you need to have some kind of structure in there so that it doesn't become sporadic and kind of hard to watch. Then I started thinking about how sometimes I think that can just get in the way of creating a video. You, you're so focused on kind of drag a story out of it, trying to plan the content, plan the structure, plan what you're going to say, where you're going to say it, that it kind of just stops you from filming. So this morning I felt inspired, I just really wanted to make a video, so I just started filming. So I have no idea whether this will make it onto YouTube, I guess we'll see, but I thought it'd be an interesting little experiment to just start filming and see what we can come up with, see if we can make a boring mundane day into something that's worth watching. to like put thought to creating a video or sure you have your story on lock or at least your topic on lock so I was like I'm just gonna document everything that's happening and then it started to slowly progress toward um, you know wanting to sculpt my story now a really important thing that I took from that is what Cody said about not having time to create to, to do b-roll to prepare your video to essentially create that story every single day because he was vlogging every day as well so he would just document his day he would document what he was doing he would just start filming and his energy his personality just came through anyway and it just made for a really interesting watch even though he may not have prepared every single video beforehand to the finest detail and this resonates with what Gary Vee was saying uh, some video I don't know which one about document don't create I think by having this mindset, it really eradicates most of the excuses that we use not to start vlogging or not to start making videos. You know, if you think this way, you can't say, well, I haven't got time. You can't complain about not having the gear to do B-roll because in reality, that doesn't matter. You can just film. You don't have to be doing perfect B-roll. You don't need gimbals. You don't need the most up-to-date camera. You just need to tell your story. And I think this is a very liberating mindset to have because you can just, just start filming. Now I just have my second research paper accepted and published and I'm printing off the device for the third one right now which is what I was doing this morning. So this afternoon I've got to do a bit of work on my thesis and then maybe we'll go for a walk if the weather clears up a bit and uh, it starts looking a bit better than it is now. Still going. Just finished up work for the day, so I'm going for a little walk up the road just to kind of get out and stretch my legs because trouble with sitting down all day is just it's not really very good for you. So just feel like I need to get out, although it's just started pissing it down. Anyway, getting on to the point of this video, I guess, is should you start vlogging? It's 2021, people aren't really doing it much anymore. None of the big creators, Casey Neistat kind of had a little couple of weeks where he seemed like he was coming back last year, but I didn't seem to last very long. So is it kind of dying out? Is it is it now a dead genre? Or is that just the, the sign of the times, COVID? People are just finding it hard to find interesting content. I don't really know. I'm not tied into, into the kind of creative 
YouTube sphere. Really, I don't know many other creators, so I can't really answer that question, but I can tell you my thoughts on the subject. <laughs> Sorry, I was just looking away because these cows are staring at me. It's just, um, it was just freaking me out a little bit that they were just staring, all of them. So, do I think vlogging is dead in 2021? No. As far as I'm concerned, every person on this planet has a unique story. No life is the same. No one person has the same life as anyone else. There are going to be people in the... Whoop. There are going to be people in the world that are going to be interested in what you have to say, your thought process, your actions, things that you do on a daily basis, your routine, Something about your life is going to be interesting to someone else. No, I don't think vlogging can ever die because that's like saying stories die. This is just about the worst idea ever. So do I think you should start vlogging? Well, that's entirely up to you. What do you want to get out of it? And to me anyway, it's more about what you get out of the process than the end result. So when I'm vlogging, it's because I want to express myself in some way or I want to practice some kind of technique and I don't want the pressure of a tutorial of a, of a video that I'm attempting to kind of make viral or whatever. You just There's no pressure with a vlog because it's just you're documenting things. You're not creating something for a particular purpose. You're just documenting your life. And for me, it allows you to use some of the techniques that you've learned. You can try out new things with vlogs, and that's 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 my process. That's why I do it. For example, last week I made that video about should you grow a beard, and I spent only about 10 minutes filming, but I spent about an hour editing like a 15 second B-roll of me making tea, just because I thought it was cool and I enjoyed it, and it was just a bit of fun. So, and that to most people is not going to be the main part of that video. They're probably not even going to remember it after, but. But that's what I take away from that video is what I learned during that making that little b-roll segment and from that process. So I'm gonna head home. This is it's getting really heavy now. now. The first question I think you should ask yourself when you're deciding if you want to start vlogging or whether you want to make videos at all for YouTube is is why? Why are you doing it? Is it is it to become famous? Is it to learn to learn filmmaking? Is it to to use your passion for something? Is it just to be creative? Is it to get out of the house? Is it, is it to make money? A lot of people do it to make money. But you need to work out what that why is, and then that's gonna guide your process of what videos you're gonna make. Without the why, you can't start making videos because you're not gonna have any purpose behind them. That's just my opinion anyway. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this video has just gone on a massive tangent and I'm not really quite sure what the point of it was when I started. But I think that is the point, is if you want to do something and you've worked out that why and you've decided this is the way you want to go, just just do it. Don't let excuses, don't let other things get in the way. I've managed to film this entire video doing the same thing I would do normally day to day. I work and I go on a quick walk, but those aren't exciting things. Working is like the least exciting thing. And you'll probably tell me this was the least exciting vlog you've ever seen. But <laughs> And that's completely fine, but I'm happy I made it. And I think that's what a lot of people forget when it comes to, to vlogging or creating videos in general is, is like not everything has to be a perfectly finished product. This is probably gonna be my, in fact, this is definitely gonna be my least smooth, my least well edited, put together, planned out video of them all. But I've enjoyed making it. So I'll probably try and post it just, just to show you guys what it's like to just make a video without really putting any effort into it and seeing what you can come up with. Hopefully you can see that I've had fun doing it regardless of the outcome. Oh, this is getting torrential now. Um, I'm worried about my microphone, so I have to peace out on this one for a little while and uh, I might see you back at the house. If not, have a great day. Eh.